Akila and her new friend. Akila's father and brothers went to the river to pick up Akila's grandmother. Akila stayed behind in the village, and she was bored. Mom, I'm hungry. Be patient, Akila. We're having pondu for lunch. You will be able to eat then. Akila, come and help me, please. Again? It was the third time that morning that her mom had asked her for help. Go and pick some cassava leaves in the field. I need a full basket. As Akila made her way through the thicket, she noticed a little monkey jumping from vine to vine. Suddenly, a branch broke. The monkey fell, and the branch landed on his head. He groaned. Then he stopped moving. Poor little monkey! I'll help you. Without hesitating, Akila left the trail to go and save him. Be careful! She stepped next to a large snake coiled up on a branch. The little monkey opened his eyes and managed to scream. Akila jumped aside. Phew! That had scared her. Akila ran home with the cassava leaves and began telling her mother all about the little monkey. But mom didn't have time to listen to Akila. She gave her a coin and said, "Go straight to the market and fetch some smoked fish." Otherwise, I won't have enough for the meal. At the market, Akila hesitated. She wanted to buy some fruit to share with her monkey friend. It looked so delicious and smelled so good, but she only had one coin, and that was to buy fish for her mother. The merchant's small smoked fish were lined up neatly along a stick. They would be very good with cassava leaves. Akila knew she should forget about the fruit, so she reluctantly bought the fish, as she'd been told. Fortunately, when she walked back by the fruit stand, the fruit vendor handed her a banana. "Take it," she said. "You have been very helpful to your mother." "Oh, thank you, ma'am." Meanwhile, Mom carried on working. A large pot was boiling on the fire. Mom crushed the cassava leaves with a large pestle. May I go and play now? Yes, but don't go too far away. Your father and brothers will be here soon with grandmother. Akila quickly ran off to the forest, but the little monkey was no longer there. He must have gotten better and left. She thought. Akila was both sad and happy. She sat down and started to peel the banana. As she bit into it, someone tapped her on the shoulder. It was the little monkey. Would you like some too? Asked Akila. The little monkey didn't reply, but ate a piece of the fruit. Do you want to be my friend? Asked the little girl. Immediately, the little monkey put his arms around Akila's neck. She was very pleased with his answer. Suddenly, they heard a noise coming from the village. Dad, grandmother, and Akila's brothers had arrived. Their arms full of presents. Akila rushed to greet them. The little monkey followed her. "Hello! I am very happy to see you. Look, I have a new friend!" she cried. "Oh, he's lovely," said grandmother. "When I was a little girl, I also had a little monkey. His name was Bamba." It's settled then. Your name will be Bamba too, and you will never leave us again," Akila said happily. "Come on, we're all going to eat Mom's pondu together. It's the best in the country." And Bamba was very happy too.